Oh my God, we have such a busy day in front of us. Dan is still sleeping, but I thought I would get us started on a right note and I would just cook lunch right now so that whenever we're hungry, we can just quickly pop in and out, eat, and then go back to work. So today I'm gonna to be making two salads, two salads that we often enjoy with wraps. So it's my spicy turnip salad and my sweet and savory carrot salad. The turnip salad is a salad that Louise really, really enjoyed when she came to visit us a few weeks ago. And she was like, Sydney, how do you make this? So Louise, if you're watching this video, this is how I make my turnip salad. Let's get cooking. Okay, so right in front of me, I have five beautiful Navos turnips. I'm going to be peeling them and slicing them thinly. Now, most people would use a mandolin for this step, and if you have one, you can absolutely do that. I've grown accustomed with time just to use my little cheese slicer here, and then it just makes really fine, thin slice, and this is what you want to have. So whether you use a mandolin, a cheese slicer, or if you go through the painstaking process of cutting your turnip really, really thinly, it's gonna work anyway. So let's get peeling. The turnips are now all peeled and the secret of this recipe lies in two different steps. First, how thin you'll slice your turnips and the other one comes in the sauce. Now because this is a cured turnip salad, I can start like curing my turnips right now. Although I'm not done thinly slicing the rest of the turnip, what I do have is a bunch of turnip that can start cooking in the salt. So don't be shocked by the amount of salt that you'll see next. All of this will be rinsed out. It's only used in the curing process. Get ready. I've added salt seconds ago and already you can tell that it's working, it's magic. The turnip is releasing all its water and it's really what you want for this recipe. You can really tell like water is coming out. Now the next step is to grate garlic. Now if you like a lot of garlic, feel free to put as much as you want in there. Uh, if not, well, you can maybe leave it out or put a bit less. But we love garlic, so wait and see the amount of garlic I'll put in. It's gonna be quite impressive, I think. And one thing is sure, for this recipe, I really wouldn't be using the, um, the little pots of garlic that you can find at the grocery shop. Really, take the time just to grate a couple of garlic or as many as you want, really. Um, it's going to make a world of difference in the taste in the end. Next up, lemon. What you wanna do is squeeze one or two uh, lemon and then you want to squeeze that over your garlic so that it starts cooking right away. Mm. 
there's no need to add salt at this point because the turnips are going to be quite salty, although we'll rinse them uh, quite soon. Okay, what do I have here? Cumin, good quality cumin, and a good quantity of cumin. For this recipe, I'll go for a full tablespoon in there. Or a teaspoon. <laughs> Mix it up. Now, usually what I put in there is harissa, which is a Moroccan spicy base but I can't find it here in Portugal. So instead what I'm doing or using is just those normal little chili and I just just add as many as I like it. Well, I like this salad to be quite spicy and so does Dan, so quite generous on this one, but just feel free to add as much or as little as you want. Chili. Well, olive oil, taste. Mm. I cannot wait to have our own carrots. I have a feeling that this, this salad is gonna be so much more tasty when we can use our own produce. But for now, this is what I got. It's really hard to give you exact quantities because I'm eyeballing just about every dish that I cook. But right here I've got dates and I'm going to be chopping them finely and adding them to the carrots. So if you like dates a lot then put a lot of them in there. If you don't then you don't have to put any. I also have sultana raisins and I'm going to be adding them to my carrot mix. Okay, so now normally I make this dressing with apple cider vinegar and a bit of olive oil, but I don't have any apple cider vinegar today, so I just have the normal white vinegar. However, I do have this apple pear dandelion jelly that I've made a couple of weeks ago. And what I'm gonna do is just to inject a bit of apple flavor into the salad, is just put a generous amount to kind of soften the whole salad dressing and then yeah that's pretty much that so. if you don't have any apple pear and dandelion jelly no worries you can also use some honey if you wish And this salad really is one of those that the uh, longer it marinates and then the oil and the uh, vinaigrette, it just gets better and better. Now back to the turnip salad. The reason why I often make these salads together as a combo, because the turnip needs quite a bit of time just to expel all the water. And by the time I make the carrot salad, well, usually the turnip is ready. Look at all, I mean, I've not added any water. This is just the water 
being expelled from the turnip. So, and they become kind of translucent and very pliable. If that makes any sense. Now given the insane amount of salt I've added to the turnips, it goes without saying that I need to heavily, heavily rinse them for several minutes under fresh, cool running water. So that's that, that's the next step. And just to give you an idea, just look how almost transparent the turnips are. Now, of course, it's difficult to get them all that texture and that consistency, but it's kind of what you want to aim for. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze to release as much of the salt as possible. Next step, pretty simple. What you want to do is to dry your turnips. So I've got a clean dishcloth. Just going to chuck everything in. I'm trying to like that. This. Still squeeze. Okay, so the lemon has cured the garlic inside the turnip salad dressing. Now, if I had harissa, I would not need to do this step here. But because I can't find it in Portugal, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of tomato paste into my salad dressing. Just a squeeze. Plenty. <laughs> Mix that in. And I really want to try to make sure that all my little turnip pieces are not stick together. So that too is a pretty important step. Okay. That. Add the dressing. Now, if you can try, leave this salad in the fridge for at least 24 hours. And the same goes for the carrot uh, salad as well. Because these salads, they're the type that the longer they stay in the fridge, the better they get. On that note, I can hear that Dan is waking up. I wish you bon appétit and thank you very much for watching. Ciao, ciao now. One thing that I forgot to say about the carrot salad, if you add walnut, it's even better.